It's time for another Dirt Daily, and today I'm gonna to answer some questions about my trailer. Every time I post a picture of this trailer, or it's in the background in a video, I get a lot of questions about it. We've actually done some Dirt Everyday extras on this trailer multiple times because everybody's so interested in it. And I just wanna do a quick walk around of it on a Dirt Daily because I know there's a lot of questions and there's people that haven't seen those other videos. So. That was a really loud truck. So the trailer is pretty unique in the fact that it only has a single axle. Most car trailers have two or even three axles. This trailer, just a single axle, but it's a dually axle. So there's four tires that are still supporting the load of the vehicle. And that axle is a 10,000 pound Dexter tra uh, trailer axle. It's really overkill for hauling one little Jeep, but this trailer tows great. And one of the reasons why it tows so great is because the having just one axle, when you have two axles, you have tires front and rear, and when you go around a corner, they kind of bind. With just a single axle, this thing tows, follows really well. Um, and if you were to have a flat tire, you have another tire on that side that'll hold it up until you can get to the side of the road and fix it. Is that really necessary? Well, I know a lot of like boat trailers only have a single tire on each side and they seem to tow well. And if people get a flat tire, somehow they limp it to the side of the road and fix it. So there is an argument that it really doesn't even need to be a dually, but I like the security of having four tires. Um, plus I do carry a spare and I like the fact that the trailer is heavy duty and beefy to haul whatever vehicle I put on here. Now this trailer will only fit about a 110, uh, maybe 112 inch wheelbase. Um, it was kind of built, designed around an LJ. A prior owner uh, had designed it around his LJ. Then he sold the LJ and then he had the trailer. And I, he was a friend of mine and I said, hey, let me borrow that for a trip. And after I borrowed it, I was like, I just want to buy it. The thing tows so well. And he eventually sold it to me. Um, a lot of people ask, well, would, would I build them one or are there plans out there to build one? I don't have any plans specifically. I did not build this one, but um, I have actually thought about building another one and maybe selling this one or kind of fine tuning this because there's a few things that I would like to change on it. So let's do a quick walk around and I'll show you the details and also some things that we're going to do to it in the future. So here's the rear axle. It's a Dexter 10,000 pound axle, but it does have eight on six and a half bolt pattern, just like a lot of my tow rigs. And it has an oil bath hub. So it's extra beefy. You don't have to grease it all the time. You just have to make sure that there's oil in the hubs. Um, it has Michelin tires, these big beefy Michelins that have been great so far. Uh, I've had these tires across America with it. Uh, the lights are in the back here. The back of the Jeep does hang off just a little bit behind the trailer, which I'm not sure is 100% legal, but um, the lights are really bright and it does have outside marker lights. So it's pretty visible when you're running down the trail or running down the road, I should say. Um, in the rear, the rear straps run straight up to the axles. Um, I like to run Max custom tie down straps. They've been great for all the different years that I've used them. Uh, there are ramps, but most of the time when I'm loading the Jeep or a 4x4, I can just drive it right up on in low range. Here you can see how this tire is not sitting in front of this front brace. It was kind of built for about 103, 104 inch wheelbase. The, the tube sock Jeep is a little bit shorter than that. I've had Jeeps up to 110 inch wheelbase on here. Um, it does have trailer brakes. It does have an ammo can for straps and everything to store in. There's a spare tire that rides inside there. Uh, back in here, you can see the ramps that are tucked up inside there so that if you have something that doesn't have the low range to crawl up on or the big tires, you can still get it on. One of the issues I've had is this frame rail to that frame rail is a little bit too wide for a flat fender or a really narrow vehicle. So I've had to kind of park them on all cattywampus. I would say to do a future one, I might make these a little bit closer together so that you could fit a, a narrow track vehicle. Um, it has a jack right here, a trailer jack that slides onto a shaft that's welded to the frame. And I also added 
other mounts right here by each axle so that if you get a flat tire, you can take the trailer jack off the front, put it on right there, jack it up and change out the tires. And I have had that happen to me once. I was going down the highway, got a flat tire, pulled to the side of the road because I still had another tire on that side, changed out the tires with the jack right there and was back on the road in probably about 20 or 30 minutes. Overall, it's a pretty small, narrow package. It's great for towing. It follows around behind your tow rig pretty easily. It has eight on six and a half axles so that in the worst case scenario, you could take a spare tire off of a tow rig and put it right on there um, or right off your trail rig, depending on what size tires you run and what bolt pattern you run. So there it is, that is my little trailer. I'm gonna do a bunch of work to it in the future, so I'll probably do more videos on it, but that should give you an idea of how it all goes down. I run a strap at each corner, and I run them to the axles, not to the frame. Max Custom Tie Downs is the straps that I like to put on all of my trailers. Um, so there, I hope that answers all your questions. This thing has trailer brakes, it has trailer lights, does trailer stuff. So that's it for this Dirt Daily. That's my little trailer. You guys have asked about it. Send me your questions. I'll try to answer them either in the comments below or I'll do more videos about my little single axle trailer. See you next time.